Hello, YouTube. Hello, Kosabio. I wanted to make a video about an interesting phenomenon that NASA has recently put terms on called the flux transfer event. And apparently, every eight minutes or so, tons and tons of physical matter is pushed through a sort of magnetic portal and I'll put a link in the comments about this. And I want to talk about this type of a phenomenon with respect to consciousness and experience, and that's the reason that I'm putting this video here on the Kasabi Institute. There have been a few people who've made videos recently about the question of consciousness as it relates to gravity. And in astrotometry, there's a relationship between the, the polarity of time, in other words, time's arrow, and gravitation. And so there is this relationship, this physical relationship, that I have sorted out with astrotometry that deals with the nature of these two polar uh, phenomenon in our, in our world. And as it relates to the continuity of physical matter and the experience of that sort of continuity that we experience with time and space, um, I wanted to pose a question, and that is, I wonder what it would be like, um, assuming that these events um, have been happening for a while and that NASA is just figuring out that these kinds of things happen. I'm wondering what it would be like to experience that type of event where the matter that where you are uh, just suddenly sort of disappears or dematerializes. I wonder where that matter goes and I wonder if there's any type of conservation with that. And I think astrotometry um, implies some answers for this. But I think as far as, as far as consciousness goes, as far as our understanding of our condition as it relates to things like our perception of our personal size, you know, and, and our relationship to everything else in the world, um, and our sense of gravity, our sense of the physical presence of gravity, I wonder, I wonder what that would be like. I wonder what that kind of experience would be like. I mean, if you could somehow find a way to navigate yourself to where one of these events might be close to the ground or something like that, um, maybe it would be possible to experience that. I don't know exactly how one would accomplish that. But at the same time, it makes you wonder about the nature of our reality from that perspective. Would we know? Could we know if these types of things were happening all around us, uh, would the apparent continuity of the of the other forces and the other pro properties of material as we understand it here and now um, be continuous? In other words, if there was some type of observational mechanism that was um, caught up in one of these transfers, would that observational mechanism even be able to comprehend or observe um, if in the case it wasn't a person, um, would it happen? Would it? Would there be a way to detect, or is or are the laws and, and properties of light and and physics and stuff like that sort of um, independent of that type of event?